So about four or five months ago, I did a um, I did a video on art block, and it happened to be this drawing. Now, because I was having art block, I hadn't drawn anything new by the time I did that video. I had just went back um, into my sketchbook and I picked a random page that had something drawn on it but wasn't inked yet, it was just a sketch. So I was like, since I'm having art block, I'm just gonna use this page and just do it. Uh, but in my mind, what I had wanted it to look like was not what the finished product was at all, and I said that a lot throughout the video, was that what I wanted it to look like was not what it ended up being. So I thought that I would do a, uh, a redo of that one. <laughs> Now that my art block is gone. I mean, this was before Inktober and everything, but yeah, now that my art block is gone, I thought I'd redo that drawing because it is one of my least favorite ones that I have done um, in general, but especially in that sketchbook. I have a one that's even worse than that, but this is one of my least favorite ones in that sketchbook. So I thought I should redo it and reimagine it. <laughs> so I didn't change much when I redid it. Um, I really liked the idea of her having tree skin, which I actually didn't mean to do in the original. That just came about because I was using these markers and they were coming up very scratchy. I probably shouldn't have used markers to do it because I'm not the best with markers. Uh, but in the original, I just, the colors were not what I wanted them to be. I had tried to do her hair um, as like this blue gray and ended up making her look old. Uh, I didn't like the shirt she was, I just, I didn't like any much about it. But the one thing I did like was the tree bark skin. And that actually wasn't even in the original plan. I ended up adding the tree bark skin um, because I didn't like how it was turning out. So I decided to just keep working with it until I reached a, a happy place where I was okay with what it looked like instead of absolutely upset with what it looked like. <laughs> so that's how I ended up with the tree bark skin. And I'm really happy that I did that because I really like what it turned out like and it gave me this really cute like little baby tree elven lady. <laughs> so, I mean, this one is a baby tree elven lady. The other one was definitely like an old, old lady tree. Like <laughs> That must have been this one's grandmother or something. <laughs> So when I was redoing this, the first thing I thought was I was absolutely not going to use markers. I was going to use something I was a lot more comfortable in because if I'm doing a redo, obviously I want the redo to be better than the original. And if I was going to use markers, it would probably turn out just as bad. So I decided to use inks. Uh, this looks like watercolors, but it's actually inks. And for her hair, I didn't have any, um, I didn't have any blue ink. So I actually used gouache for that. I'm surprised that gouache is still working. I bought that gouache like maybe seven seven years ago and it, it was kind of dried out but i just like scooped it out and put some water in it and it re immediately reactivates so that's why i really like um Lindsay newton because their stuff is like top notch <laughs> but back on to the drawing so i wanted to keep almost everything exactly the same except for the application i was using like that marker was not working but um other than that i wanted to keep the original hair color because i ended up changing the girl's hair to black and the old one just because when I did this like blue gray on her hair she looked like an old lady so I ended up changing it to black but in the original she was supposed to have a lighter color hair it was supposed to be more bluish gray but this one I kind of went for like real real blue <laughs> which I like I actually like the way it turned out uh, I did give her a couple more embellishments I think I I changed the position of one of her um under eyelid triangle things and then I gave her two more diamonds on her forehead I believe um, other than that, I, and her hair color, other than that, I mostly kept everything the same. I did squish her face in a little bit, which I feel like I've been doing lately. I've been doing these really squished in like baby faces, and I didn't mean for her face to be like this much of a baby. But when I got to the end, I was like, oh wow, she's a baby. <laughs> I didn't realize that she was going to actually look that young until I got to the end. But I like it. She kind of looks like, like, a little, like a little tree sprite, you know? I think that's cute. Um, I kept her eyebrows the same. They're like little notches. I kept everything else basically the same. Well, the skin, the facial features, most of it's all the same. It's just the application and probably the shape of her head that I changed. Oh, I also took the shirt out because I feel like if she's some type of woodland sprite nymph or whatever she is, she would not be walking around in a t-shirt, I don't think. So I decided to take that out and I actually used this like technique that I guess tattoo artists use when they're like 
when they're ending their designs, they put this, um, it all goes down into a point just so that it gives it a nice ending, like a nice edge on a tattoo. And I actually started doing that during Inktober and I really liked the way it looked. So I'm happy that I learned that from Inktober. It helped me expand my style a little bit. <laughs> But yeah, I feel like I'm starting to do more stuff that I actually like and I'm starting to actually like the art that is being produced in the videos because before I felt like I was trying way too hard to do something and whenever I try too hard to do something, it comes out really hideous. So I'm happy that I'm slowing down a little bit and just doing the stuff that I like to do. But yeah, this is my little woodland tree nymph sprite girl and I think she turned out pretty darn cute. I'm happy with the outcome and I'm definitely happy that uh, this was a good redo because I did a redo a while ago of my um, Dollar Tree Art Supplies Challenge. The Dollar Tree Art Supplies Challenge one wasn't that good and the redo wasn't much better, but I feel like this this was a good redo. I'm very, very happy with how it turned out and she's adorable. <laughs>